What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list. And this time around, we got a time of the day tier list. And with this list, I'll just be going over how a person generally feels during that time of day, because we all know how we'd feel if someone was like, you gotta wake up at 5 a.m. versus a, can you be up before 8 a.m.? Are you implying that waking up at 5 a.m. is a bad thing? Because the Joe dog never finds a bad time to wake up. I have the insane power to be able to fall asleep at a moment's notice. I didn't know we were calling dementia a power up, but I guess that's what we do now in the year of 2024. All right, no need to say mean things. We have a wonderful list right in front of us and our audience gets to enjoy another banger of a video. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got 12 a.m., and I don't know about you all, but 12 a.m. is kind of whatever for me. I'm feeling a B tier because, like, it's that indecisive time where you have to draw the line and be like, okay, am I going to stay up or finally go to sleep? And I don't like making that decision. Yeah, figures that the decision to bomb multiple countries and incinerate multiple children in the Middle East is an easier decision for you. Thank deciding whether or not to sleep in. Okay, ouch, dude, but you know damn well what I meant. I think what Donald is saying is that you are being silly, Barry. That is in no way at all what I mean by that disparaging comment. Yeah, thanks for the useless comment as always, Joe. You're as helpful as a broken condom. Anytime, Bomberman. Ha! All right, that's enough. Let's move on to the next entry, and that is 1 a.m. Now, I am placing this into A tier because if you stay up till 1, then you probably are past the dreadful hour of 12 and have likely decided to stay up. Plus, if you're doing anything socially, then you know this is like the best hour to have fun, like other times are too early or barely getting there, but one is like the perfect time because it's not as late as 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., which with the way I talk about it, you guys can already tell that those two are lower than one and you'd be correct. I then have 2 a.m. going into B tier because it's approaching the lousy time of 3 a.m. and it's starting to get damn late. Then I have 3 a.m. going into C tier because most times out of 10, you are not having a good time at 3 a.m. except for the occasional party, but let's all be honest here. You're either doom scrolling Twitter, just dreading to go to sleep because you either have stuff to do or you have to wake up early. I know that because the same things happen to me, I'll go down a YouTube rabbit hole and watch 50 minute video essays on movies I haven't watched or games I haven't played, all to avoid the fact that I have to wake up at 7 a.m. See me personally, I can never relate to that. The Joe dog adheres to a strict bedtime, and if I don't meet it, then I will be all out of whack and will not be as articulate as I know I should be. You're telling me that the current you is the articulate and smarter version? Jesus, I can't even imagine a more dumber version of you. I actually agree wholeheartedly with you on this. But, yeah, moving on from that, if you guys thought I hated 3 a.m., then welcome to 4 a.m., because I have this going even lower than 3, and I'm putting it into D tier. This is like the worst time because if you're a night owl, then this is the time you realize that you have to go to sleep or at least start getting ready for it. Because if you don't, you're gonna mess up your sleeping schedule because you know you won't fall asleep later if you don't do it now. Plus like nothing cool happens at 4 a.m. Like normal people are dead tired by this time and will be red screen like in Call of Duty unless they get to their bed. I won't lie, if I am up at that time because of a social event, my ass is like one tap and on some low ass HP. Like I need a revive or something because 4 a.m. is quite a devious time to stay up till. Like I know my breakfast is gonna be missed unless I choose to tank the damage and just use an energy drink. 100% agreeing with you there, Donald. Then I got 5 a.m. going into C tier because this would be an okay time to wake up at. I'm not saying it's the best, but if you're healthy and stuff, then a nice 5 a.m. jog could get the blood going to start your morning. If you haven't slept and it's still 5 a.m., then this is like the ultimate last chance to not wake up at 1 p.m. the next day. As for 6 a.m., I am placing this above and slotting it into B tier. A lot of people wake up at 6 a.m., especially for those office days to make the commute. And a lot of people in school do the same as well, and I have to say that it is not the worst. I actually don't mind it at all, but I still would prefer to wake up earlier, like at 7 a.m., which I then have going into A tier. 7 a.m. is sneakily a really good time. Like, I feel like that's a very normal time to wake up if you properly sleep. I would know because I wake up at that nice time. Well, with all the naps you take, I am not in one bit surprised you have no problems with waking up at 7 a.m. I don't know if naps necessarily help with that because it's not like sleeping stacks onto how rested you are after you enter your sleeping cycle, but whatever. Following that, we got the golden hours of waking up, and that is 8 a.m. all the way through 11 a.m., 
which I have all going straight into S tier, because if you think about it, I would not be upset waking up at any of these times, and they are the perfect hour for breakfast. And if you want a slightly early lunch, then you can do that too. Like, the day just feels fully started at this time, and usually the sun is fully out. And there are people doing their normal, everyday things in life, and it doesn't feel as solitary. I would pray to God that people are out doing their normal, everyday tasks at those times. Like Jesus, imagine if everyone was sleeping during that time. Well, those are slots from my famous Joe Dog nap time hour. A nap at 11 a.m. when you really need it, man, that hits the spot. Joe, I don't think anyone is taking a lot of naps at those times. Unless you had something to do and you woke up early as hell and then took a nap, but I personally am not a fan of that. Anyways, after that 12 p.m., and that is a straight A tier for me. This is usually lunchtime, and I look forward to having that in my schedule, but then once you hit 1 p.m. or 2 p.m., you start to realize time slows down and you just can't wait for the end of school or work. So you hyper-focus on that until you eventually can go. All of that leads me to place these two into B tier. Time only slows down if you're not having fun. Now tell me, Barry, are you not having fun during those two hours? No, not really, but I don't like talking about it. But uh, up next, we got 3 and 4 p.m. going straight into A tier. These are the hours you salivate for as you're almost done or are already done with what you need to do in your day. And instead, you focus on what you're gonna do after, which leads directly into our free time. The golden hours, if you may. So what you're saying is that these two hours are basically the pregame for the ones after. That's exactly what I am saying, because in my humble and honest opinion, I have 5 through 7 p.m. all going into S tier because those are peak times when you're out and about doing stuff or just chilling at home. You arguably get the most bang for your buck during this time because it's all free time. And there's no worry about going to sleep yet. So you're just fully immersed in whatever you're doing and most times, especially in the summer, the sun does not go down. So you're enjoying the time before it gets dark and you eventually get reminded that you have to go to sleep. This all just seems like you have some sort of bias against sleeping. Like every single time you talk about a negative, you seem to always mention the fact that you need to sleep. Now, what is wrong with sleeping? Because I personally really love sleeping. Of course you do, Joe. But no, the problem does not lie with sleeping. Trust me, but it's just that when you gotta think about the next day and what's to come, you can't help but let it bother you. Like you ever have a fun time out with your buds and you're drinking or just relaxing in general and then you look at your phone and realize, oh shit, I gotta go to bed soon. That whole experience is just a bad one and you know that too, Joe. Don't try to act all high and mighty and try to make me seem like I'm the only one who feels this way. Donald, you have to agree with me, right? Well, uh, I can see both ways, but not for the same pussy reason as Joe here. I do admit that opening up your phone late and realizing that you have to wake up or be home in X amount of hours may suck. But a realm motherfucker like me just gets an energy drink and deals with it the next day, as I mentioned earlier. I can go out clubbing one night and be feeding the dogs at 7 a.m. the next morning. Anything is possible with a lot of caffeine. The only drawback is that'll all feel like Lizzo's toilet after she takes some laxatives. Okay, I guess it is possible, but most times out of 10, you feel like absolute dog water when doing that. But fine, I guess that is a valid point. I still have those staying in S tier, but I will at least acknowledge that 8 p.m. through 10 p.m. are still solid A tiers. Like my reasoning is still valid as hell. And if you think about it, these are the final bits of free time before you realize you gotta come back home from wherever you're at or start getting ready for bed if you have something to do early as hell. I don't think those are bad ratings at all, but maybe I'd consider lowering 10 p.m. a tad, but I feel like that's a very normal time to go to sleep. 10 p.m. is a golden hour to slumber because if you do it too early, people will call you a grandpa. And if you do it too late, you'll have people saying you're gonna die soon if you keep up your erratic and bad sleeping schedule. Joe, I don't think people say that to everyone. I think whoever said that meant it specifically for you. Yeah, Joe, it's probably because you're to 100 than you are to 50. So uh, people are quite concerned with your health, not to mention you're actually the president of this damn country. Oh, huh, well, would you look at that? Anyways, what do you guys think was happening in those tunnels in New York? That shit looks pretty rad. They're blaming the Jews, but me personally, I think it was mole people. Please don't change the topic to something trendy, but I would rather not delve into that conspiracy. Anyways, wrapping up this list, we got 11 p.m., and I have this going into C tier. This is the final hour of judgment. 
and I just feel like a lot doesn't happen at 11 p.m. And you feel lousy as hell when you see the day switch from being Sunday 11.59 p.m. to Monday 12 a.m. Like you think to yourself, damn, it's the next day already, and that is only cool when it's New Year's Eve, but aside from that, you're just like, ah, shit, here we go again. Okay, nice list, but seriously, what is going on in those tunnels? I kind of want to go down that rabbi hole as well. Uh, get it, guys? Because instead of rabbit hole, I said rabbi hole, and there were Jewish people in the tunnel. Just for that, I'm ending the video.